good fight. At least I know he's in custody, so I ain't got to keep looking over my shoulder. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, um, that's amazing. I feel like I could go to sleep now. I've nice... been sleeping. I've been sleeping for so long. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you have a nice warm bath, I mean, get good rest, you feel good. Yeah, definitely. You will feel good. Yeah. yeah. And even even my daughter hasn't been sleeping because so she's been so worried about yeah. me. My name is Kai. Oh, nice um, I have a YouTube channel called Tauchi Kai. And what I do on the channel is basically go around helping people as much as I can. So I generally help people through massage, but also hopefully help you to clear some, some stuff that's happened in your mind. Yeah, because it just won't go away. Oh like man. Oh, should we talk about that? Just briefly. I was just saying you was like getting some kind of abuse. Yeah, it's my ex partner, so he's um he's a father to my youngest two. But one of them passed passed away. Um and the other one I had to adopt it because he wouldn't leave me alone. And he, he was too it was just too dangerous, so that was one of the hardest things I had to do was was that but my eldest daughter, um with me. Yeah. And uh, but she's going through it as well. She's only 19, so she's so worried about me. Yeah. Just want to hear what's happening. But, um, yeah. It wasn't the biggest beating he's ever given me, but it wasn't very nice still. He's breaching a restraining order. While she was beating me. Um, yeah, 16 years I put up with it for. Oh, and then he found out where I lived. And uh, like I say, it wasn't the biggest beating he's ever given me, but. Um, yeah. I've got to keep me safe and, and my daughter, do you know what I mean? So uh, I've had alarms put in my house now and um, I'm working with a domestic violence team and also my support worker who um, works for a housing person, which is part of St Mungo's, I don't know if heard of St Mungo's, um, they've got a lot of hostels. Okay. Um, and they got they got me in the plan in the first place, so I've got a lot of support. But um, my daughter hasn't known, I just feel for her. Oh. I'm really sorry to go for it. Yeah, I don't know how he found out where I was. So obviously somebody told him, but. Yeah. So, Karen, let's concentrate back now. Yes. Yeah, so today. Sorry. Just okay, Karen. No, it's nice to share, isn't it? It's nice yeah. to shed some tears, to shed some of this weight, some of this burden. Yeah, sometimes it has to come out. Exactly, it? exactly. But let's talk about now. Right now, it's beautiful summer's day. Yeah. yeah we're, we're in this beautiful park. Yeah. You know, we're, we're surrounded by people, so you know, hopefully you feel safe. Yeah. yeah I, want, I want you to feel safe. I've got a phone from my bag. Good. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case. But, so, um, he's been reminded, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, until um, he's pleaded not guilty, um, but my daughter was a witness to, to some of it, so um, yeah. he's going to go to trial. But I know that he's not here at the moment, so I haven't got a keep sort of looking around. Well, you yeah. know, I'm here. Brother Serge is here. You know, I'm sure we we can help <laughs> help out. 
But you know what I really want to do today is help you as much as I can because yeah. I can see your 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 your, your, your shell shot. Yeah. Yeah, psychologically and physically. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is gonna hopefully help you to relax a bit more. Yeah. That's Just what so, I need because yeah. I, I I feel all tense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, I'm hurting as well. Yes. Let so, me try yeah. as much as I can. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be really gentle. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be a chair massage, so most of the work I'm doing today will just be on, along your back. Okay. Hopefully, get, you know, give you some more mobility in your spine. Yeah. But more importantly, what I really want to help you to do is to relax. Yeah. Just take your mind off things. And I really want you to know right now, this is your time. Yeah, okay. everyone needs TLC, isn't it? You all yeah, need tender loving care. And okay. right now, I want to give you this tender loving care. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So please, do you want to put that um, your, your yeah, finger? Sorry. No worries. <laughs> And then, and then please take a seat here. You're going to sit here and you're going to put your knees on this rest here. Okay, I've got um, really bad nerve damage in my legs. Okay. So, um, just, just give it a try. I'll, yeah, just, see how, I'll just see how it feels. Yeah, see how it feels. Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. But Good. I might have to go around a bit sometimes. That's alright. So just get comfortable. Have a little wiggle around. Is that okay? Yeah, it feels okay. Good. Yeah. Now, please. Have you, Plunk your, your, your body onto that. Yep. I want to readjust this, this headdress and hopefully find a nice comfortable position. That's good. So it's good to, it's good to cry. Yeah. Let the water fall to run. Right. There you go. Plunk okay. yourself down on that. Put my face here. Yeah, put your, put, your, put your body down. I want to find a nice position for you. Okay. How does that feel? It feels okay, but I don't know where to put my hand. Right. Is that comfortable? You can use your hands right here. How's that feel? Okay, yes. Yeah. And how's that feel? Fine. Good. And I'll adjust this headrest. How does that feel? Fine. Good. So guys, today we're here with Carol and she's uh, she's going through some things. And Let's send the best wishes. I want all you guys at home watching to send Karen and her daughter good positive vibes. Leave some comments of you know, some positive comments so that she can read them. And hopefully, it's going to encourage or you know, inspire her. Just gently. How's that feel, Karen? Okay. So I've been very gentle now. Just slowly introducing myself to Karen. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. See, and just then, Karen just let go a bit, did not you? There you go. It's nice to let go. It's holding a lot of tension in your shoulders. I know. It makes it Just for this moment, okay? This is your this is your time. This is all this is all this is your moment. This is all for you. Just to forget everything for a bit. Just take your mind away from things. You just really feel what's happening. Just feel what's happening. So your arm is boost? Yeah, it's just, 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 it's just,
That's it, nice oh. There we go. So Karen, what I want you to do, if you can, your eyes are closed now and you're feeling that how my hands are just gently soothing you, gently yeah. helping you just to melt away these problems, just for this time being. But I need you to now to really start being coming aware of your breath. Just be aware of your breath. Just notice how the breath comes and goes. Just notice how the breath comes and goes. And if you're very observant, you might even be able to hear your breath coming and going. Breath coming and going. And each time the breath comes, you're going to feel it fill your body. And each time the breath goes, you're going to feel this tension go with it. <laughs> yes, so this is something you can practice when you're at home or even when you're by yourself sat on the bench as you did early on. Just watching your breath come and go and each time the breath comes in, feel it fill your body and when the breath goes, feel how the tension goes with the breath. That's it, goosebumps are good. There we go. That's it. There we go. So I can really feel how at the moment Karen's, you know, she's like shell shocked. She's almost, almost like she's closing herself in. But at the moment, as Karen is watching her breath come and go, and allowing this soothing touch, this tender, loving care, as she receives it, as she accepts it, acknowledges it, she's slowly relaxing. She's settling. Feeling more at one with herself. And it's all about the present moment. When we watch our breath come and go, it reminds us that, ooh, that's that's what's happening right now. We're just watching the breath come and go. We are immediately brought into the present moment we are reminded of where we are right now so we sat on a in a Sarge chair there's this good looking gentleman giving us a back rub <laughs> <laughs> there we go that's it so I can really feel where the tension is in the camera product and it's everywhere, it's all over. So just to remind you guys at home, I urge you just to, uh, if, you, if, you, if you pray or if you do any kind of things like this or even just having positive thoughts, I really want you to send these positive thoughts towards Karen and her daughter so that they can come through this, come through whatever it is that they're going through in a moment that everything will be, will be fine for them. And also, for the viewers at home, if you know someone, maybe a loved one, or maybe even a friend that is going through something, why don't you just maybe offer them some kind of massage? Even a hug, you know? A really wholesome, loving hug, it's like a massage. It's like the ultimate massage. Just let them know that you know, you're there. You're, you're there to listen if they need someone to talk to, if they need someone to share their experience. Because it's always better out than in. And 
if we can cry and laugh together, it makes things so much better. This material that Karen's, Karen's wearing is perfect for massage. <laughs> it's almost like we planned it. <laughs> and I was saying to Karen, you know, this was meant to be, we was meant to meet today. You know, if you think about it, like, everything happens, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that feels like. There we go. So for you guys at home wanting to learn how to do this, when you're helping someone like this, first and foremost, you need to feel comfortable and relaxed within yourself. And have, it in, have it as your intention to really want to help come from a loving place so that when you do help, they feel it. If you feel relaxed, the person you are helping will start to feel relaxed too. Imagine your hands as though they're like eyes, you know? You could feel, you could see with your hands. And what really helps if you nice, gentle, but firm, firm and loving strokes like this. And as you do this, you will start feeling where there's tension. And what you want to do is it's almost like you want to iron these ten this tension out and iron them outwards. Iron them outwards. Iron them outwards. And just then, uh, as I was doing this, Karen, she expressed to me that, oh, that felt good. So that means we're doing good things. Karen's got bruises along the arm here. I'm just going to really help now just to get the blood flowing. Karen so that she wanted less pressure so I did as she asked. Your wish is my command, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be treated with some love every now and then, isn't it? I'll never get pampered. Oh, it's okay. I'm just send you some really positive vibes. And if you continue, just keep having that faith within you. I know you've got that faith within you, Karen. I know you do. When, I, when our, our eyes first locked, I could see it. There's still that sparkle within you. Thank you. Yes. I have to, my kids. I'm That's not leaving them. I'm not going to let anyone kill me. There you go. Just have faith that everything's going to be fine. But, you know, if you can really start to practice to watch your breath, Watch yeah, I keep holding it for some reason. Yeah, that's it. It's because I'm frightened, I think. Yes. What we tend to do is, um, when we get frightened or anything like this, or any emotional um, turmoil, we tend to hold our breath. So that's why I encourage people to start watching your breath. Just allow the breath to come and go. You know, you imagine that you're like a doorway and you don't want to keep the door locked. Just keep it open so that, so that the breath can come and go. Mm -hmm. 
and if the breath can come and go, your body can relax. And if your body can relax, it means now you'll be less stressed. And if you're less stressed, it will mean your mind will become clearer. And if your mind becomes clearer, you will be able to really see what it is that you need to do to help yourself. So when we just watch the breath to come and go, we're no longer stuck down the well. We slowly climb our way up by allowing the breath to come and go. As the body expands, acknowledge that. And as the breath goes, allow the tension to go with it. It's all in the breath. The breath is such a magical thing because believe it or not, without the breath, we'll be dead. So we, breath is very important. So just allow it to come and go. Allow the breath to come and go. Help your hips, okay? Mm -hmm. Is it ticklish? <laughs> yes. It's nice to have a little giggle, isn't it? Yes, there we go. It's ticklish, there we go. That's it, have a nice little giggle. Good. There we go. That's it. Have a giggle. Just having a little giggle really helps to relax your internal organs, you know? Yeah, as you have a little giggle, everything inside has a little, sh has a little move around. I'm just helping Karen's kidneys here. Oh yeah, they don't work too clever. Yeah, it's alright. So give your kidneys a little massage. Now, even though we're massaging the lower back here, we're giving, uh, as we relax your lower back, it's going to really give your kidneys some space. Yeah. Yeah? There we go. And this side here, we're going to help the liver. Side here, we help the heart. There we go. Start moving up towards the neck more now. Wow, I'm going to just help. Karen's neck further now, she's very tense, shoulder tense. We're just going to give her a little, we help to melt this tension away. Mm -hmm. Feels nice, yes. Mm. Good. That's what we'd like to hear. There we go. This material is a pleasure to massage on. <laughs> it's so, it's so nice. It's not too rough on the hands. I'm going to slowly make my way outwards towards your arms, if you can. I know they're bruised, mm. but 
I feel that it's going to really help you if we can help to get the blood flowing through those bruises. It will help to heal them quicker. Yeah. But also, hopefully, help your arms to be a bit more freer so you can flap your wings. <laughs> The arms are very representative of, of wings. Uh, if our arms are mobile, it means that we can fly and then we can start doing things that we want to do. There we go. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> yes. So you gave your shoulders a nice little wiggle, then, didn't you? Good. So you just. Good. I could feel the tension, it's making it hurt. Yeah. Is that okay, though? Yeah, that's fine. But yeah. Where I've been all tensed up, it's making the, yes. the pain worse. That's it. Yeah. When you tense up, uh, it builds up. All that, all of that tension builds up, and it is. It can become pain, painful. Yeah, it was, but it feels so much better. Yeah. It's nice, you know, just to have someone just to kind of take that burden away. You know, help you to kind of get rid of some of that baggage. Yeah. Yeah. You're 100% right, you're today. Yeah. Are you right handed or left handed, Karen? I'm right handed. Right handed. Okay, which arm at the moment is more pain than the bruises? The left one. The left one is more painful. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the right side first, okay? Okay. Just to allow your body, allow you just to get used to the idea of me helping this out helping to soothe these bruises okay oh whoa well he threw you down the stairs yeah. it's okay The energy that I'm, I'm coming with today is love. Yes. I'm going to help this shoulder, this arm. So for your views at home learning, I've got my hand underneath Karen's armpit. I'm holding on firmly, but not too tightly. She's supporting her arm, her shoulder, and we're going to gently start to massage these muscles. To really help to help this bruising that she's incurred. And we're going to encourage blood, blood flow here, which is going to really help to Bruising. How's that feel, Karen? Good. Doesn't hurt. That's it. Amazing, isn't it? Magic. Magic hands. That's it. I've got my hand underneath Karen's armpit. So as we're sending energy here, likewise the hand underneath is also receiving the energy. So it's almost like I'm rolling. Karen's shoulder or her arm between my hands. Being very gentle. I'm going to start feeling like jelly. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is, you know, I'm very honoured that you've you've come along and you've allowed me to help you this way. Oh, well, I've got that kind of way, people. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm feeling very good. And now it's the gentle patting. How's that feel? Yeah, just gentle. Just gentle patting. Just gentle. That's it, fall asleep if you want to. There's nothing wrong with that. 
So what we're doing here, we're doing nice long strokes all the way from the spine down the arm, really encouraging um, Karen's physiology just to really let go of the shoulders. And you'll start feeling like the arms are a bit longer now, isn't it? I feel like a When you told me that you were you know, suffering from abuse, like, you know, it struck a chord in my heart. Because, believe it or not, I've, you know, I've experienced things that, you know, I wouldn't say is similar to yours, but I have experienced, you know, trauma myself. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm very, very open, very open to help. When I was younger, I, you know, I, suffered, I experienced, you know, oops, the sexual abuse. Yeah, I did as well. Yeah. But things kind of led my life to, at the end of that suicide, which was like 10, 11 years ago. And uh, I was given a second chance. Yeah. Karen, I'm going to move on to this arm now, the one that you said that hurts more. Okay, it's, it's, it's here. It's there. Okay, it's right. I've got you. So you relax. Be nice. I've got you. Let's have a quick look at this arm. Oh, shams. Okay, yeah. I was right in the bicep. Can you guys see that? Oh, okay, it's right. So I've got my, my arm, my hand underneath Karen's shoulder. So really supporting here. That feels right, Karen. Yeah. yeah. You don't feel afraid that I'm going to hurt you? No. Yeah, good. You feel safe, yeah? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've got my hands under Karen's armpit, really supporting it. And we're going to give these nice, gentle, but long strokes. There we go. So it's just reacting there. There's pain here, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to do gentle. That's it. So Karen, I want you to take a gentle breath. And then just let it go. There. And just gently now start to move these muscles around. That's what tends to happen when muscles are tense. It's almost like they're scared, isn't it? Mm. So by doing this, we're like coaxing the muscle just to relax. Just to let the muscle know that everything's fine. Everything's okay. When's the appointment? Next month. I can't remember exactly what day it's on, but they work with people that are absolutely petrified of the dentist, yeah. which I am. How does that feel, Karen? It's nice. Oh, lovely. That's amazing. Thank you so much. It's my honour, Karen. Honestly, I, I didn't think I was going to do that much. That's nice. That's what, that's what I was here. That's what I was kind of reborn for. Like. No, that was amazing. Thank you. Yeah. And especially, you was doing that on my bruises. I mean, how does I not feel yeah. pain? Should we show? Should we, should we see your bruises? How they look like? Yeah. They're, ooh, that's real. Oh, yeah. yeah, but how does it feel now? Me touching it. I can't feel nothing. Yeah, that's good. Do you want to give me a hug? Yes, I do. Oh. Yes, I do, definitely. See, I wanted to hug you in the beginning, but I knew you were kind of not ready for it. But now, oh, you oh. Thank you. Everything's going to be fine, you know that. Yeah. Have to have faith, yeah? Yeah, I hope so. Someone else come get a massage. He's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but you guys, that was Karen. I want, no, please leave some beautiful comments for her, positive ones, some good vibes, some prayers, whatever you believe in. Until the next time. And the avatar known as Tao Chikai on the floor.